let's take a look at how I can open a saved SWRITE file as an IWB file onto my panel. So I'm going to launch back into the SWRITE software. And now I can come back over to that little ellipsis menu. And instead of doing a save, I want to import a note. So I can choose to go ahead and import that from my local disk. Uh, and again, I created my Scott's class uh, layout here in my folder system and I've selected that solar system IWB and now I can go ahead and just click the insert button and now it's going to open that and allow me to amend that and continue editing and add multiple pages to this as well. Maybe I want to be able to open content that I saved off to my cloud storage. So there's a little different process in order to go ahead and be able to do that. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I want to choose to select the save button and I'm going to go back to uh, my cloud storage here because I'm not actually going to save anything. I'm going to go ahead and log into my Google Drive here and go to that touch view uh, folder where I saved that solar system uh, file. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and now I want to click the little down arrow and I want to go ahead and download that. So now it's going to allow me to select a folder where I want to go ahead and download that. So uh, I'll go ahead and save that directly into Scott's class. Uh, now it's going to go ahead and download that file and save that locally. Uh, I'm going to have to always be able to download my files and open those locally on the panel. I can't just go ahead and import uh, and open that directly from my cloud storage that way. So now that allows me to go ahead and I'll go ahead and close back out of this and say, sure, I want to exit out of this. So now if I want to go ahead and go back to that uh, import feature, I can go ahead, select that local disk, go to Scott's class, and then be able to select that. So that's how I can pull content back down. Just remember that you're going to have to select the save button, log into your cloud storage, select that file, and then download it to the folder that lives locally on the panel that way.